Hey, so this is my travel makeup bag. Um, I thought that this would be like a fun, like short video to make, um, just highlighting a lot of things that I have that I like to travel with because I think they're really reliable, easy products to use that can give you a variety of different looks while not taking up too much space. You know when on YouTube when people are like, let's pack my travel makeup bag and then it's like a mini suitcase and like, maybe no, maybe don't. Maybe let's just uh, take the essentials. So yeah, I just wanna share like what I am bringing with me both to New York and abroad to Ireland. I will be staying in Ireland um, the entire month of March, and by the time this goes up, I'm sure I'll already be there. Um, but yeah, I am going to Ireland for the entire month of March. I was accepted into an art residency there, and so I will be just there with the sheep painting unplugged, unbothered, <laughs> but that doesn't mean I'm not gonna do my makeup, girl, like that's a... <laughs> yeah, so I think I, I, I'm a very minimal packer. Like I only take my favorite things, things that I use all the time and things that like I know I'll definitely miss. And you know, this is all like, you know, keeping like the weather and everything in mind and space for my suitcase and like all these things. So like I, just wanted to be able to make like at least three different looks with the things that I'm bringing slash use up things that might expire while I'm away. Like um, a mascara, a certain mascara and a concealer that I have in here. So uh, normally I wouldn't have packed like double of certain things, but I'm, I know that I'm going to be using them up and that they will not be with me on the return flight home. So there's not gonna be any rhyme or reason to this video. So I'm just gonna pull shit out and we're gonna talk about it. So I'm gonna start with the two mascaras that I'm bringing. And so this is the Victoria Beckham Beauty Future Lash. And this is aging. And I know that by the time I come home in mid-April, um, this is going to be, you know, on the verge of like not being safe to use on my eyes anymore. And I just wanna use it up because I love it so much and I would hate to waste it, you know? I would, I would just really hate to waste it. And my other mascara that I'm bringing is a brand new tube of the Make Waves mascara. Um, and this is by Tower 28. This kind of went viral in the uh, late summer to early fall. And it's such an amazing mascara. And since it's considered, these are both considered like clean brands, whatever that means. Um, and so their shelf life doesn't last that long. So I figured I would just bring, you know, um, one that's about to die and then just have a new one because my old Tower 28 is pretty much like, dried up every single time. The last few times I've used it, I was like, eh, about my lashes, you know? And that's when you can usually tell like, okay, like it's time to throw this out. And so I got a brand new tube. Okay, next are my concealers. So I'm bringing this almost finished up tube of the Kosas Revealer Concealer. This is in the shade 3W. And uh, yeah, you can see a lot of windowing happening. And I would hate to like just leave this here and it go bad, you know, and just, I just wanna use it up. And so I, I foresee like not having this in my bag on the way home. Like I foresee that this is like going to be used up and you know, and I already have a backup of it cause it's my favorite liquid concealer. Um, and so there's that. And then I have this one from Nude Sticks. This is just like a little concealer pencil. It's very surprisingly creamy. It's very easy for like the quick, like, okay, I only have time to put this on under my eyes and stick on some mascara and go out the door. Like this is really perfect for that. And it blends out seamlessly. It's a fantastic color match for me. Um, and I think they're, these are actually being discontinued. So I just wanna like use it up and get it out of my life, you know? And then the third thing is my favorite concealer of all time, which is the NARS Soft Matte. This provides soft, soft coverage. It does provide soft coverage. This provides full coverage. You can spot conceal or you can share it out with a sponge and or brush and get like a really flawless base. Like this is what I have on my face today with um, uh, like a color corrector. And so this is just such, 
it's just like my go-to. I love it so much. Um, and I wear, and in this, I wear the shade light 2.6 Cafe Con Leche. Not much of a powder girly, but I always bring a little mini powder with me. This is the Laura Mercier uh, translucent powder. It's just like a little travel mini. I don't remember how I've obtained this ever. <laughs> I, just, it, I just have it. I just have it. I used to have a mini one of the Ilya. And that's how I tried that powder out for the first time. And that's how it became my favorite loose powder is because I went through that sample I had of it. Um, and I think this maybe came in like a birthday thing with Sephora, I'm not sure. But this isn't my favorite powder, but it's really, I mean, it gets the job done. And as someone who isn't much of like a powder wearer, like it's fine, like it's just fine. Another mini I have is the Hollywood Flawless Filter. Oh, it's so cute. Um, I have this in the shade two and the shade three. I love to travel with these. Um, these act as your highlighter and your base, your primer. You can mix it in with anything. Like it's just so good, I love it. You already know I love it. If you're not new here, you know how much I love this product. It's my hero product, I gotta go with it. I, I have to have it. I also am bringing the NYX Brow Glue. This is my favorite brow product I've ever tried. It's the most reliable. The wand is my favorite because it's teeny tiny. Like remember the, um, well, I mean they still exist, but it's like the Benefit Tinted Brow. The wand on that was like my favorite wand ever. And I always wanted it in like a clear, like slick kind of thing. And I found it in this, and this is like six to eight bucks, depending on where you buy it. It's so affordable, so high performing. I love it, I love it. Okay, lips are a category where I was like, am I bringing too much? Cause I have such a hard time like figuring out like what I will want. And so I just always bring my favorites and these are my favorites right now. So the first two are my favorite lip liners and this is the NYX lip liners. I have this in nude bait. I have the NYX lip liners in the shade Nude Beige and Natural. This one is like my cool kind of pinky brown and this is my like more neutral warm leaning pinky brown which you know it just like never steers me wrong because those are my favorite lip colors to wear. It's so easy and usually with that I pair it with my favorite clear lip gloss slash lip treatment and this is the Tower 28 Lip Jelly and this is in the shade Chill. I love it. It's so nourishing, so glossy, lasts so long. It's great for prep. It's great to wear to bed. It's just great. It's great. Ah. It's just great. Next one is my favorite tinted lip balm. This is the NARS Afterglow Sheer Lip Tint in the shade Laguna. It's the perfect like neutral brownie nude that's super sheer, super nourishing. And I love it so much. I just love it. This is, I think this is one of my favorite lip products of all time. Um, next is a matte kind of matte-esque lipstick and this is the Victoria Beckham Beauty uh, lipstick in the shade Girl. Perfect. I'm actually gonna put a little bit on my lips right now. Ah, so good. So good. Um, very nourishing. Very like it's like a demi matte. Like it's very creamy, very satin, but it doesn't have any type of shine. It kind of adapts to any type of like um, like chapstick or lip gloss or anything that's on underneath it. So you can wear this really matte or you can wear it with a little bit more moisture. And I think it's just such a slick, beautiful product. I love it so much. And the last one is my current favorite lipstick right now. And this is the Gucci Hoo Hoo Rouge Le Viol. Viol? I'm bad at French, man. Uh, and this is in the shade Catrin Sand. This is the sheer like nourishing formula. It's such a beautiful, like rosy, brownie nude. Mm. And also like, <laughs> you know, you pull this out of your bag and you're like, I'm rich. Blushes, I, to I made myself be really strict with my blushes because um, I think it's the, what like eyes and blushes are my two most like abundant categories. So I told myself one cream, one powder. So the cream I chose is the Victoria Beckham Cheeky Posh Blush in the shade Playground. It's that perfect like terracotta nude that I rant and rave over all the time. This is a very long wearing matte formula. It goes over a dewy base beautifully. It goes over powders beautifully and it lasts a really long time and it's easily blendable and you can sheer it out or, or um, 
build it up very easily. So reliable, I love it, and I cannot be a month without it. The next one is the Laura Mercier Powder Blush in the shade Fresco. This I also rant and rave about. I love this so much. And this is the most beautiful, like, beigey, pinky, brown, glowy powder blush that I've ever used. It's super long wearing, and I think that it looks beautiful by itself, and it also layers on top of Playground really beautifully as well. So um, yeah, I can't be without it either. It's just, they're just my favorite blushes. I just love them so much. And I was really strict about bronzers too, so I'm only bringing one, and this is the uh, Ambient Lighting Bronzer in the shade Luminous Bronze Light. This is my little mini one, it's so cute. Um, if I didn't have this in a mini, I would probably bring a cream bronzer, like uh, probably, or I may have grabbed my Westman Atelier uh, contour stick and biscuit, but, um, cause when these are full size, they're pretty bulky and not very travel friendly, but since this is like such a little baby cutie pie, um, of course I grabbed it. So yeah, this is such a beautiful bronzer. Um, it's very glowy. It has like a slight like pinky undertone to it. So it's really warming. And I think this looks really beautiful on the eyes too. So it doubles as an eyeshadow as well. And it lasts all day. And I just love it so much. I love it. I love it. Okay, eyes were really hard. They're always the hardest one for me to choose. I just can never like pick. Cause it's like picking my children, you know? Like I'm like, I just love you all so much. You all make me so happy. I can't choose. But I ch but these are the ones where I was like, okay, I could get a variety of different looks, like either them mixed and matched or by themselves. So the first one is obviously, <laughs> I mean, Space Cowboy, come on. Like uh, if you're not new here, hello, yes. And if you are new here, also hello. We love her. Yeah, um, that beautiful, like, undertone of, like, uh, it's kind of like a pinky beige, uh, peachy, a little peachy pinky beige, and that's translucent, and then it has, like, purple and silver and gold glitters dispersed throughout it, creating this very effortless, wet-looking eye. I love this on top of other others <laughs> and I love it by itself it's just so versatile so lovely and every time I wear it somebody goes what is on your eyes you know that's the goal for somebody to stop you and be like what are you wearing you know I always get it I love her uh next is my favorite sad discontinued product but I love traveling with this the last time I traveled I took this and I was really really happy it was one of my most used eye products and this is the Cream and Powder Duo by Tom Ford in the shade, um, what is it, Golden Peach? Yeah, in shade Golden Peach. Has that beautiful wet looking glitter topper and the beautiful champagne -y, rosy peachy shade that's just <laughs> absolutely to die for. It's so beautiful. Uh, they're great alone or paired together. Um, they pair with like Space Cowboy really well. Like they're just such, it's such a beautiful product and I don't know what the heck Tom Ford is thinking getting rid of these. Maybe they're reformulating them. Maybe they're like doing something. Like I'm just trying, I try to be optimistic about it, but like, I, like, what are you thinking? Like, bring this back, bring this back. There would be like a revolution. I don't know. And the last eye product, and I think the last product I have to talk about, actually, I think that's, I've talked about everything in here. The last product is the Hourglass Scattered Light Eyeshadow, and this is in the shade smoke. This is such a beautiful taupe. And I don't want to say that it has like a rosy tone to it, but there's a little bit of like this. Yeah, I guess I could say that there's like almost a rose to it, but it's not like a pure, like cool toned taupe. This has like kind of um like a rosy warmth to it as well. So it's very like nuanced and like multi-dimensional and Lately, I've been really into wearing this with Space Cowboy on top, and it's just the most like stunning glitter looking eye. And yeah, it's something that's beautiful by itself, and it's something that's even more beautiful when it's with its beautiful sister. So um, yeah, I just, I think these three like really embody like my three or four favorite like types of eye, which is like a glittery, smoky, taupe, or a glittery, peachy, pink, um, 
yeah, and so I think that I'll just be very content and very happy with the eye looks that I can achieve with those like very small three products. Okay, and that's it. That's it. That's all that's in here. I don't even know what this little like bag is. I think it was like travel liquids or like liquid containers that I bought one time. Like it's not like a nice bag or anything, but it's easy. Like if you have like liquids mixed in with everything else, you can just plop it in the TSA bin and be like, bye. You know, easy, easy. And that's what we like here. We like easy. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. And um, maybe this can help you pack your own travel makeup bag and just be like as minimal and get the most out of your products as possible. This is that one, this travel makeup bag is a little more excessive to me. So I am visiting my family in New York the week before I go to Ireland and the week after I go to Ireland. So there are some like family events that I'm going to with them. So I just want to have like a little more access to a variety of looks. And also the entire, I'm going to be gone the entire month of March in a foreign country. And not only is St. Patrick's Day happening, but my 30th birthday is happening while I'm gone too. So I want to have like, you know, access to all of my favorite things so I can feel and look my best. And so, yeah, that's what I'm bringing with me. And um, yeah, I, uh, I'm not gonna be bringing my camera. I'm not gonna be bringing like my laptop or any type of recording. I'm really trying to make this like as unplugged and like introspective as possible. But I will maybe try to make like some type of vlog-esque content to post later um, if you're interested. Yeah, and I don't know how good the quality is gonna be because I'll just have my phone, but like I'll try. I'll try. Um, I also have an Instagram where when I travel, I do like to post like get ready with me reels. It will be in the description box down below and I'll also post it later on my communities tab once I start posting on there a little bit more. Uh, so if you have any questions or if you, you wanna contact me or just see like what I'm up to slash makeup looks I'm doing while I'm abroad, you can check it out there. So this is probably going to be the last thing that I film for like almost a month. It's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy. And I'm going to miss you guys. And please talk to me. Please talk to me. I love like, I love YouTube now. Like I'm a YouTuber now. It's crazy. Um, and I just keep getting more and more followers. And I just, I'm really, really grateful. And I'm having such a good time. And I love the discourse that's starting to happen on my channel. And yeah, it's such a wonderful community. And I'm excited to be making more content for you in the future, but it's not going to be until April, unfortunately. Um, yeah, so hit me up, ask me questions. If you're in Ireland, send me a shout out. Maybe we can get a coffee. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and goodbye.